This happened two hours ago. Just by the way, I was involved in drama two hours ago. Imagine. I need a fucking reality show at this point. Like, I was involved in drama, but this drama was just, like, 1% of, like, the drama you guys know. But to me, it's still drama, because, like... Guys, am I the only one who's genuinely worried, Kasai and Maraye? Like, I feel like all these bad things are happening to her. Because <laughs> I don't know to see be seen because I'm an yo a ski sisayen yo and about to bamote like imagine living your life like that everything goes on my head it becomes a joke I'm not a cow, bitch. Vote. Open. Listen, I'm gonna make you sweat. Make you wet. Make you wet, wet, wet. I'm gonna make you sick. Little baby pissing in your chest of pressure. Vote. Unlock. Hello, what is up you dazzling diamonds and the others? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Kyle and this is The Vault. Anyway, you guys, let's jump straight into this video. Alrighty then, you guys, before we start this video, um, Happy New Year. I'm so glad that we all survived. <laughs> And please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel and my personal channel, which is called Linda Kyle Dazzling Diamond, right? And in this video, you guys, we are going to be talking about the situation that just recently happened. I feel like a lot of things have been happening. We started this new year on a bang, right? <laughs> now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the thingy that fell out of Cyan Bougie's thingy. I don't want us to make the situation a joke because literally this could happen to any one of us. As a matter of fact, I've seen a video on TikTok of a white lady, Caucasian lady, if you will, that was at a bank, an ATM, F&B ATM, right? She was withdrawing money and her underwear actually fell off. She didn't even notice until somebody said, yo, mama, your underwear is on the floor. And she left there pulling it up. 
I don't know, people have this thing these days where instead of helping you or showing you the problem first, they're going to record you, which is just a no-no for me, right? I don't want this um, whole Sian Bougie um, situation of the thingy that fell out of her thingy to become a thingy or to become a joke. Some might say, actually, let me go back. Some might say that this could happen to anyone. But if you really think about it, would it really? Because that thingy was kind of big. I don't know if it was a 10 pound. Definitely wasn't a pad. It could have been some tissue. But why is the tissue there? And in a corner, I mean... <laughs> oh, it could have been pus from her incisions from her baby owl. Remember she said that she was oozing and dripping pus and stuff like that. It could have been a clump of something like that. Things do go wrong in these situations. Angas, angas, I wasn't there. All I'm saying is, I actually don't care if you guys make it a joke or not. Cyan Bougie has gone out of her way in the past to ridicule or embarrass people like Upabalo, people like Usima, right? And she finds joy in that. Personally, I'm not here to make fun of her, but I'm just saying, come on knows where your address is. This is now weeks later after she did the whole Sissy Cyan type of situation. And then Upabalo actually goes on to repost the video and make fun of her. People are telling her, no, don't do this thing because Sissy Cyan is going to come out and get you again. And she's like, let her come. At this point, Sayan can come as many times as she wants. Bad things keep on happening to that girl. Embarrassing things. Right? Um, I feel like Kama just keeps getting her. And then it kind of made me think about... Remember that time when um, she was in the accident with her best friend? Uh, apparently, allegedly, she was doing the sacrifice, sacrifice type of situation and it didn't work. Maybe all these bad occurrences are happening because, you know, when the devil comes to collect, he comes to collect and you're going to be embarrassed. Oh, and then there was that time where apparently, allegedly, I was supposed to be embarrassed when she responded to my video. Ah, her shame, man. Somewhere deep down inside my heart, if it still exists, if it ever was there, <laughs> I like Cyan Bougie. And I've been saying this um, in a couple of videos, if you go back, right? I see good things happening for that girl. Marana Khan, is it just me that's seeing the good things? Maybe the good Lord is not seeing those good things or the universe is not seeing those good things. She keeps on putting herself in situations where karma is going to come and get her. Can you understand what I mean? I once told you guys that... I'm sorry about that. I once told you guys that if somebody goes through something, right? And I mock them or I laugh at them. It always happens to me that it's going to come back to me. And I'm going to feel it. And I guess that's what we'd say is karma. Do we not all know at this point that when you take things too far to affect another person's life, it's coming back to get you. You take someone's man, you steal, you, it's coming back to get you. So that embarrassment that she calls Upabalo, this is her karma. And that's how the wheel turns. You understand what I mean? Someone was saying on TikTok, Jorge, I must go for a cleansing. I don't believe in this cleansing, cleansing. The most cleansing that you should get is praying to the good Lord and he'll cleanse you and you'll be fine. You'll survive. Stop doing things to people to prove a point. Because when the wheel turns, it's going to come back to bite you in the ass or it's going to fall out of your thighs. And we still don't know what that creature was that came out of that lady. Right? And another thing is, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a curvy lady with a big butt, right? There's no way in hell I'm going out there not wearing any underwear or at least not putting on my spanks. 
You need protect, like you, <laughs> you need your garments. You cannot do that shit. It's like, it, wow. That was so disgusting. I like how people are trying to flip the script, or flip the script, or trying to protect Cyan and saying that, oh, Cyan did this on purpose so that she could train. No, she didn't. There's no woman on the face of the earth, and it was actually women saying this thing. There's no woman on the face of the earth that is going to um, be gyrating and twerking. Did you see how she was? She was giving it to the crowd. Damn, she was twerking and gyrating. We're taking church performing. She didn't expect that thing to happen. But because people are now saying that, oh, she did this on purpose to train, she went with it. Like, huh, the trending money is coming. Where's the trending money coming? Where's the training money coming from? Always, Cotex? Who? Because I don't think any of those brands are going to touch you after that because they wouldn't want the public to think that their brands don't stick. Stick. Antola, you could tell obviously that she probably wasn't wearing underwear. Cyan wears those um sexy numbers where she doesn't have to or doesn't want to wear underwear or spanks. I'm just saying that situation was definitely avoidable. It was hilarious if you think about it. Cyan Bougie doesn't actually care. So to so all the people that are like, okay, um, so no, don't do this to Cyan. We know that Cyan's a bad person. For the fact that you can say in the same breath that we know that Cyan is a bad person. And then you want to feel so... Why are you feeling sorry for you? You're lying. You just want to look good. You are liars. And I'm not going to lie. That was really, really hilarious. I felt bad for her for a second. A split second. And then I was like... What are you doing? You're going out to go DJ. You're getting sweaty. Just ah, bounce everything. Ah, plus the pass. You, you, ah, come on, guys. It's not a good look. However, she did say in the Altido video or interview that growing up, the reason why in her SE triple X tape with that other guy, why she didn't shave is because she didn't know anything like about grooming when she was growing up. She was clueless. Maybe she's still clueless. Because there is absolutely, unless maybe she went to go pee and then she lifts up, but that was big. It looked like cottage cheese type of situation. You have to, and in a corner, don't, let's just say it was tissue. Don't ladies have pads and pencil liners in their bag just in case something starts? Or don't you have those feelings to know that something's about to start? Let me take something with me. Oh, guys, I really don't know. Or oh, maybe it's the ladies that wear how much string. One of the reasons why I don't wear a string. It's unpredictable. But now, corner. I don't know. I don't think that would have happened, right? I just feel like... I wish I was... <laughs> no, I don't, actually. I don't wish I was there to investigate what that thingy was that fell out of a thingy. It looks very... Dis the thing... <laughs> Now that I think about it, damn, <laughs> yo, let's just talk it off to it was pass and not tissue or pad or tampon because there's no way that can really happen like that. And people are saying now, they're glad that she didn't realize at that moment that something fell out of her. Um, of course, that was going to ruin a whole gyrating, tricking performance, right? She was going to be really, really embarrassed. And then not come out and say, oh, the trending money is coming, the trending money is coming. I don't know. I really don't give two rats ass about the situation. I'm just saying, don't make fun of the girl. These things happen to some people. But, of all these worldly things, you should be clever about the femininity and feminine hygiene and care. You should be clever about that. If you can get that bag, your 50K, you should be able to take care of your situation. I'm just saying. And that's the truth. Marana Kona, um, guys, please don't make fun of her anymore. I saw that there was a cyan bougie trend where everybody's gyrating and dropping things out of their things. Wow, what a time. What a way to start the new year. And I must say, call me crazy or bad or mean. 
but I love it. <laughs> I wish nothing but the best for us. And you know what? I was actually thinking the other day, um, yesterday, when I saw the story. I really enjoyed the Altido um, interview that Sayan Bougie did. She was different. It goes to show you that in that interview, where she was sitting with a person of, obviously, Altido's caliber, she's very pretentious and fake. Because she seemed like a very different person who wanted to change her ways. Jiggy Jiggy, a week or two later, she's doing the whole Pamela situation. Usain Bougie will never, ever, ever on God's green earth, I promise you this. And you can come back to this video and you can say, Ah, but Lynn, umaga, maraki need. She will never train for the right reasons. And I'm really questioning the brands that collaborate with her for training for all these wrong reasons. Maybe this time... It was out of her control. But it looks like she's rolling with the, the scenario that she actually created it to train, to make money. So it doesn't matter if it was a mistake or not. If it was a, a mistake and she got embarrassed, I feel like it could have been a forgiving situation. But the fact that she wants to roll with it, you can laugh if you want to laugh. Because she's laughing too. All the, all the way to the bank. If that's the case. But I don't believe that it is. Type of situation. It's disgusting. If you got big bombs like that and you bought them, full spanks. Try something. Because na you're gonna sweat. A lot of things are going on. You can't you can't you can't do that. You can't do that. I need to. Anyway, you guys, if you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And baby. Daivi, I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, you guys. Please, apparently, full pachaza, laparendi spanks, laparendi penti, man. Because these type of mistakes in 2024, and bam, the world has evolved. There's so many things that you can use. So things like that don't happen. Unless, yeah, it was the past. They went, pop. Only God knows in this situation. Right? I'll see you guys. In the next one and happy happy new year i wish you guys all the best of luck <laughs> hey you know how these things happen you know how the wheel turns we don't know how it's gonna go down but we're gonna fucking try right bye guys